everyone, Subject Zero here. So, how do we know that graphene is really strong? This one question has been answered a while ago, but nobody seems to get it right or worse, know what it conveys. And what I mean by that is that you will often hear people saying that it's either 10 times stronger than steel or sometimes 200 times stronger than steel. Like there is a lot of misconception here and to tell you the truth, they are both right. But Zero, how can they both be right? And the answer is, it's a matter of reference. First, you must understand how they figured it out, the strength of the graphene, and to do that, what they basically did was to shoot it. Like really, they literally shot graphene in, you know, a graphene sheet. No, not with a gun, but with a micro gun for what they call microballistics. This is nothing more than a membrane to which they attach a micro bullet made of silica balls. When the membrane expands, the tiny bullet flies through space in speed over a thousand meters per second. Just for reference, the fastest bullet reaches speeds of about 1,250 meters per second. However, this is the fastest you can get, but normal bullets are well below that speed or about 762 meters per second. The idea here is to calculate how much energy it is needed to break the graphene by acquiring the speed before impact and after impact. By knowing the difference in speed, they can calculate the kinetic energy transfer or loss in the process and by that we can tell how strong graphene is and compare it with other materials. In this case what you're looking for in a strong material is its ability to absorb impact among the other things. For instance when compared to steel in an equal weight basis and when I say equal weight I mean like one to one in example like one gram of graphene against one gram of steel graphene is 10 times stronger. However this is a bit misleading for a few reasons. It's not that with 10 times less material you can achieve the same thing is that in this experiment the bullet that is shot at both materials at the exit the bullet lost 10 times of its speed or kinetic energy in comparison from one to another but because of the simplicity of this experiment you won't get the entire picture of how strong a material really is simply because you have other characteristics that can be way better and that my fellow subjects is where you get the 200 times from and then you might be thinking so Zero, what is the 200 times stronger all about? And the answer is the tensile strength. By definition, the tensile strength is the resistance of a material to breaking under tension. Stainless steel has a tensile strength of 505 megapascals, while graphene has a tensile strength of 130 gigapascals. Divide one by the other and you get more or less 257 times stronger than stainless steel. Just for further comparison, Kevlar is 375.7 megapascals. And if you compare to carbon steel, which has a tensile strength of 370 megapascals, it's even more. But a true comparison would be galvanized steel, which was used in the Golden Gate Bridge and it has a tensile strength of about 600 megapascals, which will give you about 216 times stronger. That's why they say it's over 200 times stronger than steel. So just for you to quickly picture this, the diameter of the Golden Gate Bridge cable is 92.4 centimeters comprised of 27,572 wires as each wire is about 0.48 centimeters in diameter. Each of those wires can individually hold 8.8 .8 kilograms per meter. Now the kicker. According to one study of 2008 called Measurement of Elastic Properties and Intrinsic Strength of Monolayer Graphene, they concluded that the breaking strength of graphene is about 42 newtons per meter. So I will assume here that they are using a sample of 1 meter by 1 centimeter by 3.7 angstroms graphene sample to make my calculations. So if the cable in the bridge can hold about 60,000 tons per anchorage or 600 million newtons that means that we would need about 14,285,714 layers of graphene, which gives us a cable with cross-section area of 0.52 centimeters squared. Like, whoa, this is mind-boggling. We are talking about a cable that is 12. 1,894 times less area when compared to the Golden Gate Bridge cable cross section of 6,705.54 centimeters squared. Like holy crap, that is absurd just to think about it. And it is it even possible? 
Well, I guess we will find out if these scientific measures are right, because to be honest, it is hard to picture this. Like, is it really that strong? Well, this question actually makes me more excited for the graphene revolution. Alright folks, that's it, we're done here.